and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10, I'm Rebecca Felgate and today we're talking about the Top 10 Disneyland Horror Stories. I don't know about you, but I am not sure I'm going to be able to feel the same way about the most magical place in the world after doing this video. Coming in at number 10, one of my worst fears ever, we have a guy who was stuck on the It's a Small World ride. Can you imagine being stuck on the creepy 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 ride It's a Small World? This is what happened to a paralysed man who unfortunately was stuck in the ride's goodbye room for 45 minutes. Jose Martinez was stuck as the ride broke down and staff were unable to provide him with an exit like other riders. The dolls in that ride are so scary, I cannot imagine having to be alone with them while well, they sing and I can't not listen. Coming in at number 9, we have the mystery of the white lady. In Disneyland California, many people have reported seeing a lady dressed in 19th century clothing along Main Street in the park. The woman is thought to have died in the area in the early 1900s, which of course is before Disney was even built. The woman seems to be a benevolent presence in her new home. She apparently helps lost children find the baby care center. Still though, ghosts in Disney. Ah. Another ghost said to haunt Disneyland is none other than Walt Disney himself. He's coming right on in at number 8. While many rumors have circulated that Disney has had his body frozen and stored under the parts of the Caribbean ride, that gossip has been debunked. What has been said though is that Disney haunts the park itself, especially his old office block above the fire station. The story goes that Disney always put a lamp in his window when he was in the park just to let people know that he was there. After he died, a cast member was cleaning and saw the lamp was lit so she extinguished it. She claims she went downstairs, looked back up from the street and the lamp was lit again. Now the light shines all the time as a signifier of Disney's continuous continued presence in the park. But still, Ghost Disney, it would make sense. Coming into number 7, we have Pluto killed during a parade. Disney World worker Javier Cruz was killed in 2004 in full Pluto costume amid a parade. Unfortunately, the 38 year old who had worked at Disney for 8 years was run over by a rogue parade float. The incident took place backstage in the east of the Splash Mountain area and it was just as performers were lining up minutes before the parade was about to start. Cruz was about to go through a gate into full public view just as the accident happened. It's not actually known whether or not any of the guests saw the incident. Coming into number 6, we have the really really sad alligator death of a child. In 2016, Disney World Florida was at the centre of a horrible tragedy. A 2 year old boy from Nebraska was killed by an alligator at the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa Hotel at Walt Disney World Orlando. The little boy Lane Graves was playing at the Seven Seas Lagoon where allegedly there were no gator warnings. Before his parents even had chance to rescue their son, he was dragged away and drowned by a gator. It was later admitted that the alligator population was not being monitored and that they had no idea how many gators were living in the waters surrounding the parks. Recently, the boy was honoured with a lighthouse statue commissioned by Disney. The boy's parents decided not to sue Disney and instead established the Lane Thomas Foundation. Coming into number 5, we have cancer in California. Disney California is old. It is the first ever Disney park location and it was built in 1955. Now back in the 50s, people were using a lot of lead based paint. Lead as we know now can cause cancer. Attractions with the highest lead levels have found to be the Sword in the Stone and Cinderella's Castle. The park's reaction? Well, they have placed warning signs, I've been there, I've read them. They say, warning, the Disneyland resort contains chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects or other reproductive of harm. For me right now, working at Disney doesn't seem like such a dream job, imagine being exposed to that all day. Coming into number 4, we have the Phantom Manor electrocution. In spring 2016, a cast member was killed at Disneyland Paris's haunted house. The ride that features ghoulish ghosts and spirits needed some maintenance, but unfortunately, the 45 year old man was electrocuted whilst he was in the house of horrors. Coming into number 3, we have the Matterhorn death. In 1984, a 48 year old woman was killed when she was thrown from a Matterhorn bobsleigh car. Unfortunately, she was then struck by another oncoming bobsleigh. The woman, named Dolly, appeared to have fallen out of the ride as her seat belt was not buckled. As she was riding alone in the sled, it's unknown if she unfastened it herself or if the ride malfunctioned somehow. The area she died is now called Dolly's Drop by cast members, some of whom think that they can still feel her presence. Coming into number 2, we have the Thunder. Mountain Death. 
In 2003, a 22-year-old man died as a result of internal bleeding from blunt force trauma as a train derailed on Big Thunder Mountain. The train became airborne and hit the ride ceiling before falling onto another passenger car, crushing Marcelo Torres to death. The death was ruled as a result of poor maintenance. Christmas at Disney seems all the more magical, but sadly at number 1, we have a Christmas catastrophe on board the Columbia sailing ship. The sailing ship Columbia is an old and supposedly tame ride at Disneyland California. It is a replica of the Columbia Redaviva, the first American ship to circumnavigate the globe. The ride is very gentle and takes passengers on a 12 minute sailing trip. Unfortunately, on Christmas Eve in 1998, part of the boat's metal cleat hit two passengers waiting to board. This killed one 34 year old man and severely disfigured his wife. The incident took place in front of the couple's two children. Children and other horrified guests. A Disney employee was also injured in the incident. So that was the top 10 Disneyland horror stories. We've had ghosts, schools, and death, which is absolutely not what you want from the happiest place on earth. Do you guys have any scary Disneyland stories I need to know? If so, let me know in the comments section down below. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I'm Rebecca Felgate. If you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend, and stay subscribed to Most Amazing Top 10. If you guys like this video, why not watch our two recommendations here? We've got the top 10 shocking facts about Disney and the top 10 subliminal messages in Disney movies. See you guys next time.